Uh, just talking to other people, the first thing people think is, oh yeah, like MOOCs, you know, making it available online. And that's actually probably what I thought at first too. And then once I started playing around with it, seeing how that's in a certain way not using technology uh, for the sake of education. That's using technology for the sake of administration. Um, and so this other question about technology and education is philosophically really rich and open-ended and in a certain way new uh, because it's happening at s it's happening so fast. The, the first um, time that I really started thinking about this project was uh, when I read an article about flipping the classroom and I had never uh, heard that term before, I wasn't familiar with it, um, and I thought it, the article was all about how you can take lecture material out of the, the formal classroom and replace that with um, activities, interaction, discussion, and I thought that really is interesting to me because as um, a professor in a graduate program we only meet once a week and so for me that time is really valuable and I thought if I can use technology in some way to take some of the lecture portions out of the classroom and instead use that time more productively for interaction with students I'm all for it. How we could do peer review of writing online instead of taking classroom time. I think there's lots of ways that you can use this technology. Um, still preserving that face-to-face -face in the classroom experience and in fact making it even better because um, you're giving students a better foundation before they come in to that class and so they can engage in a way that that maybe they wouldn't have. But I realized the students learn in a really different way and they're really comfortable and familiar with this other environment and um, I wanted to sort of meet them where they were at and so in some ways I didn't have any preconceived notions about what could be done, I just knew that they were much more comfortable with online interaction, with um, electronic feedback, um, and with uh, learning in that style. So I thought, well, you know, meet them where they are. It dawned on me that really we have a responsibility to teach the students who are in our classrooms now, not the people that we used to be, or the students that we had in our classrooms even five years ago. In the past, students um, worked with Blackboard and, and um, responded to um, their weekly events through a journal. We really felt like we wanted to have an increase in collaboration, um, and we wanted all the students to kind of experience some of the excitement and the frustration, the various events that were occurring, we wanted that to become a topic for discussion. Um, so we started that out as a, as a, as a WordPress blog. Uh, so far it's very successful. Some of the students are branching out and doing some creative things already. Because that's the whole point, is to give students real audience and to get feedback at every stage of the writing process that you can and allow them to revise and to understand that writing is revision. Um, the second piece to that was that we have field supervisors, um, approximately 12, in about an hour, an hour and a half radius, and we found that increasingly over, um, over the last couple of years, they've not had the budgets to travel to come to supervision meetings. At the same time, they've expressed an interest in being involved um, in discussions about current issues in the field or current issues related to supervision. So the second piece of technology was really to bring together people from a distance and to have some efficiency linked to that. I'm trying to implement discussion board, um, feedback, journals with feedback this year, and I'm a little worried that I've taken on too much grading. Um, so I've tried to cut back on some other things, so that's something I'm going to find out in the course this semester. That's, I think, part of my, my learning on this project. That you could probably mark major technological advancements in the history of the world that changed education, but this is changing every day, and so there's a sense in which the new thing is to figure out how to constantly reinvent yourself uh, using technology and not be discouraged or turned off by the idea that you're never going to be fully comfortable, uh, that you're never going to fully get it and be able to cruise for the rest of your career if you're dedicated to constantly improving uh, your teaching, 
or your ability to teach or your ability to enhance the learning experience and, and all that.